Welcome to The Life of Hair. My name is James Atkinson and today's episode is all about scalp bleaching, getting that perfect, perfect blonde result every single time. Now this is the final episode of the three-part series that I've run over the last three weeks, Pixie Cut Transformation. I've really enjoyed bringing this and I know that lots of the comments you guys are really looking forward to seeing this particular episode because I've been cracking on about how I didn't use a toner and we got a beautifully white result. So without further ado, I'm gonna get straight on with this video. Not a lot to say apart from don't forget if you enjoy this episode, Definitely, definitely share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Smash that thumbs up button and I will see you again for another episode very, very soon. The first thing that we're going to do is bleach this natural level seven hair up. Now in this bleaching process, uh, one of the things that I think that I see a lot of people doing that they could do better is that they could apply more product. As soon as I finish this bleach application, I will go straight back over the top of this bleaching application and do it again. It will have a double application of bleach back to back. Now, one of the things that I really stress that you look for is that the hair is completely covered, like icing. You wouldn't ice a cake and leave it bin so you can see the cake. And when you're bleaching hair, if you can see the hair that you are bleaching, there is not enough product on the head. The next trick that I'm gonna tell you about, and this one is slightly controversial, so I'm gonna take my by the rules hat off, is cover it with a plastic cap. And inside the plastic cap, spray a couple of squirts of water. This creates a nice hydroponic environment, meaning the product doesn't dry out and it lifts more effectively. Because one of the big problems that we have with bleaching hair is the product drying out in the atmosphere and then the power of the product is no longer as potent as we wanted it to be. As I alluded to in my previous videos in this series, this has had no toner. I did do a fanola. Now you saw in the video there where I was applying the fanola to the hair and I applied it very, very liberally uh, to cover the hair completely and I left it for five minutes. Now I left it on for that five minutes for the fanola to do its job, take away those yellow tones that we saw at the beginning. And as you can see in this final result, we have got an absolutely clean, beautiful white blonde result because our lift was so good. We got it to a level 10 pale yellow. I did process the lightener on my client's hair for 50 minutes. Uh, which is the maximum manufacturer's guidelines. Just to recap the things to remember, double apply back to back, really, really important. Getting maximum amount of products onto the hair the very, very first time that you apply to get that hair really, really lightened, nice and quick, nice and even. Make sure that it is pale yellow before you take it off. Scrape away some of the product and if it looks anything but the palest yellow shade, leave it on for a little bit longer, but try and avoid breaking the manufacturer's guidelines. And the final thing I did was use Fanola. And Fanola is my favorite silver shampoo to use. And I've got a review of Fanola coming up on the channel really, really soon. And I think it's one of those things that I know what a lot of you are gonna say, but James, Fanola's not gonna last as long as a professional toner. And to a degree, you're probably right. But at that beautiful white clean level, no toner is going to have a very long lifespan. So it's really, really important that you teach your client 
how to manage their hair themselves at home. And one of the things that I recommended to that client was that the, she went away and she used Fenola herself on her own hair at home, doing exactly what I did to top it up once a week. Apply it liberally to wet hair, leave it for five minutes, having emulsified it through evenly. That client's hair is as clean blonde today as the day that I did it which was three weeks ago, because she is using Fenola on her own hair at home. Because sometimes you need to explain to your client that these silver white colors are not going to maintain themselves. They're very delicate in nature, and therefore your client's gonna have to spend a lot more time on their hair than they may want to. So doing a color like that may not be suitable for them. You really have to have these conversations with your clients so that you do not leave them with unsatisfactory results in the long run. I hope you've enjoyed this video and this series. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. There's loads more videos coming to the channel on so many different subjects. Lots and lots of haircuts coming up actually. I've really been trying to document the styles that I do in the salon and how I achieve them in the time frame of just a 60 minute appointment.